The monomers of RNA and DNA are nucleotides, and we know that those are made of three component parts. The phosphate group, the pentose sugar, which is deoxyribose in DNA, or ribose in RNA, and the nitrogenous base. When these nucleotides are joined together in a single strand, they are orientated in the same direction in that single strand. Note that in DNA, the two strands are anti-parallel to one another. We can describe this directionality of the strands based on the carbons found in the pentose sugar. We can number those carbons. So here you can see the carbons being labeled as carbon number one, two, three, four, and carbon number five. And we can do this in both deoxyribose and ribose because they're both pentose sugars. Based on these numbers, we can describe the directionality as the five prime end denoted by five apostrophe, and this is the end closest to the fifth carbon. The other end is the three prime end because this is the end closest to the third carbon. This can then be applied to a diagram of RNA as shown, and additionally to DNA, noting that in DNA, the two strands are anti-parallel to one another. Based on this directionality, it is worth noting that during DNA replication, a new nucleotide can only be added to the three prime end of the newly growing strand. Therefore, the two new strands are built in opposite directions from one another.